lap sync. Recently, I shared my full review on the Sony A7 IV. If you haven't watched that yet, you may click this link right here. Yeah. And because of that, I thought of sharing my top lenses for the Sony A7 IV as well. So grab your snacks and drinks. We got an exciting topic in this video. Let's not make this long. Let's roll that intro. Before anything else, I'd like to officially welcome you to my channel. Thank you for making it past the intro. If you're into cameras, gadgets, technologies, all that good stuff, please do subscribe and hit that bell if you haven't yet. In that case, you won't miss out on anything from this channel. Having that out of the way, let's dive right into the topic. First on my list is the Sony 20mm f1.8 G lens. I don't know why, but as time goes by, I'm liking this lens more and more and more. I love how wide it is, how quick the autofocus is, and how compact and lightweight it is. This is practically what I use for most of my talking head videos and for all my unboxing videos. And if in case I'd vlog, I'd probably use this lens as well. Really, the best wide-angle lens to pair with the Sony a7 IV. That's just my opinion. If you want to know more about this lens, I'd drop the link in the description box below. Next one is the Sony 50mm f1.2 G Master Lens. I use this mainly for portraits and product shoots. This dreamy effect is just top of the line, not to mention its low light capabilities, all thanks to its fast aperture. Also, 50mm on a full frame body is just very versatile at least to how I do things. Believe it or not, I also use this lens for my talking head videos, just like this one. And I kid you not, it is just incredible. Of all my lenses right now, this is like my most used with the Sony a7 IV. It is that good. However, one downside is its price. Yes, it costs a fortune. It is that expensive. Oh well. If you want to know more about this lens, I drop the link in the description box below. Speaking of flexibility, of course, it has to be a zoom lens. Do you agree? And it's none other than the Sigma 24-70mm f2.8 DGDN art lens. Yes, I know there are other qualified zoom lenses out there like the Tamron G2, the Sigma Contemporary lens, and the new Samyang. However, this lens right here is in my opinion the best among the rest. Mainly because of the extra 4mm in white. I tell you now, it is useful beyond measure. Not forgetting the fact that it has the performance and the image sharpness of a prime lens. Yes folks, it is that excellent. As a matter of fact, if you're looking for a starting lens to pair with your Sony a7 IV, this is practically it. Like for real. If you want to know more about this lens, I drop the link in the description box below. Next up is the Sigma 85mm f1.4 DGDN art lens. I personally believe that every photographer and videographer should have an 85mm in their arsenal. Like for real. I don't know about you but for me, it has the iconic compression that automatically captures attention. And while there are a lot of options out there, what I think is the best fit for the Sony a7 IV is this lens. It's sharp, it's fast, and it has amazing autofocusing system. I use this lens primarily for my b-rolls and of course a lot of portraits, like a lot of them. Really, you can't go wrong with this lens. If you want to know more about this lens, I drop the link in the description box below. Lastly, it's the Sony 90mm f2.8 G Macro OSS. This is last for a good number of reasons, one being it is a macro lens. Meaning, it's a specialty lens. It's designed for a specific purpose. You know what I mean? Although it can be used for portraits and other stuff as well, it still is best for macro shots. Also, it has an odd focal length, 90 millimeter. If you already have an 85 millimeter, chances are you'd rather look at 105 millimeter or 135 millimeter. I don't know, but nonetheless, it still made it to our list. Because at the end of the day, it's fun to do macro photography or videography. So if you're looking one for your Sony a7 IV, you gotta have one of these. It has reliable autofocus, it's lightweight, and it's sharp, like extremely sharp. As a matter of fact, it could be the sharpest lens 
in the list and it has OSS, the optical steady shot. So imagine OSS plus active mode stabilization, you're like what? A walking gimbal already. If you want to know more about this lens, I drop the link in the description box below. But that's it, ladies and gentlemen, those are my 5 lenses from my Sony a7 IV. I am certain that my list is different from your list, so do drop yours in the comment section below because as a gearhead, I would love to know them all. But there you go folks, I am sure I wasn't able to cover everything, so let me know your thoughts in the comment section or we can connect on Instagram or on Facebook. As I add, if you're getting value from this video, please do like and subscribe for more not super technical but rather practical approach to gadgets and technologies. Until then, thank you for watching. And because of that, I thought of sharing my favorite and my top lenses. Next up it is next up is next up is the Sony. Next up is the Sony next up next one is also 50 millimeter in my use cases is like it's a very as a, as a matter of fact, if you're looking, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, if you're looking for a starting lens, I don't, I don't know about you, but I don't know about you, but I don't know about you, but for me, it has the iconic compression that.